Yo, check this out. I'm gonna show you how I made $178,000 in crypto in four months. Stay tuned. What's up, fruitful investors? So yes, in this video, I'm gonna break down how I made $178,000 in crypto and counting. Some of it luck, some of it skill. Let's get into it. So I started learning about the stock market world and doing stock options in about May of 2021. Had a lot of my other real estate investors pressuring me, Matt, you gotta learn the stock options thing. Real estate's too slow, you gotta get into it. And I said, no, 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 I don't wanna do it until finally I broke. And thank God I did, because the stock options world is amazing. I'm making about 20 to 30% uh, cash on cash return over there, which is pretty cool. Real estate, I'm making about 17 to 20% cash on cash with the private lending, so that's cool. But in crypto, man, it's the land of like moon rocket money. So um, I saw the dip happening, so thankfully, you know, with luck, I started in May 2021, which is pretty much when the big dip happened in crypto. So I started learning financial markets, how to read charts, how to like how to do stocks in general, how to read charts and analyze things and all that cool stuff. And I saw the dip happening um, in crypto and I thought, hmm, I don't really like crypto. I always said it was bullshit, but maybe it's pretty similar to the stock roll. I mean, the charts are charts. It's a business, it's a business. It's a blockchain, it's a blockchain, whatever. I knew nothing then, but I just knew that this is probably the future, which leads me to my number one point, know the trend. So the trend is obviously in the near future going towards blockchain technology and just crypto assets in general. And to toot my own horn, I'd, always, I'd say I'd, I've always been pretty good at spotting trends. I've done it kind of my whole life in terms of when I started being a real estate investor back in 2012, I knew that social media was gonna be my answer to marketing and getting partners into my business and just selling myself as a realtor, because I'm still a realtor, and I started off back in 2012. So I knew I had to separate myself that way, and I saw the trend of uh, social media, nobody's using it, nobody understands it. So I tripled down over there, and literally, literally made millions of dollars from social media through advertising and attracting partners, doing real estate deals, selling those deals, getting that money. So I really took advantage of that trend. So when I saw, or when I see kind of what's happening with technology in general, business in general, the financial markets, especially with me being a real estate investor and dealing with the banking world, it's garbage, it's a piece of crap, and I know that there's gonna be some huge overhauls coming. I knew the trend was coming, um, and but I'm already late, that's the thing. Like, like if you're just getting to crypto now, you're already late, and that's kind of the thing I would say too. While I am good at spotting trends, I'm always late to the party, right? So going back to when I was a kid, like getting into Pokemon cards or like whatever, <laughs> which sounds so dinky. I was always late to like every trend party, but I always get in when I know like things are solid and people are like, nah, Pokemon's lame. Now we're into like Digio or whatever the hell is going on. I was like, no man, Pokemon. I'm always late to the party, but once I know that things are locked in and like things are here to stay, that's when I get in, I triple down and I've done that kind of my whole business career and whole financial career. So I see where crypto's going. I see where this technology is going and I'm holding for the long term, which is kind of the big point I wanna say. I'm not playing day trading, I'm not buying Shibu Inu, like I'm putting all my money over there, which is cool, right? Buying some meme crypto, some meme stocks, making some quick money, that's cool. I'm more of a boring, slow, set it and forget it and get rich for sure, not maybe, one of my favorite sayings. So that's why I mostly play with Bitcoin, Ethereum, a little bit of Cardano and a little bit of XRP. These are technologies that are for sure gonna be here for years and maybe decades to come, Bitcoin probably for centuries by the sounds of it. So I know these things aren't going anywhere. So I lock into the trend and I triple down. Second point I wanna make is buy the dips. When you see where things are going, especially if you're holding long-term like I am, like I'm holding, you know, my plan for Bitcoin is to hold for five to 10 years, maybe even more before I sell this thing. So do I care about, you know, missing out on the party or if there's a, a dip coming at the end of the year, like kind of like a lot of experts are predicting, do I really care? Not really, right? I'm holding this until at least 2025, 2030, where I know Bitcoin, I know Ethereum, Cardano and XRP are gonna be worth a hell of a lot more than they are now by 2025, 2030. So do I really care about all the stuff happening, you know, right now in, in the short term? Not, don't really care. So once I see a dip, you know, 20%, 30%, 50% dip on either of these crypto assets, you know, I'm going all in. And number three, I act when people are fearful, which is kind of going off what I'm talking about now about buying the dip, is that when things dip, people freak out, right? Like, oh my God, crypto's over, Bitcoin's over, I knew it was horse shit, and it's not. When the, when the dip happens, you know, put your, 
put your big pants on and buy and actually get in. A lot of people sit on the sidelines and go, oh, I wish I got in on the dip. You know, Bitcoin's on sale, it dropped 20%, but I don't know, I don't wanna risk my money. If you believe in the technology and you believe in the trends of where this thing's going, Dude, you gotta get all in, because this is how you make the big money. So to recap this video real quick, know the trends, know where things are going, and particularly know the long-term trends before I get into any, um, any asset, but that's how I made so much money in crypto so far, is that I know where this is going, I saw the dip, point number two, I jumped all in, and I act when people get fearful all the time. You know, just even two weeks ago, the S&P 500 and the QQQ and the normal, you know, financial markets took a huge dip. What did I do? Everybody freaked out. I don't care. I'm in for the long term on those stocks too. I bought a bunch. I bought a couple of hundred shares of each one of those, right? So buy the dips. because that, That's how you make a lot of money and then hold on for dear life. If you, if you believe in, in the trends and you believe in the tech, hold on for dear life and make those gains. I'll see you in the next video.